The fitness test is in your workbook, so you can pause your DVD now to complete this assessment task. When you have finished, you need to start writing up a health report for assessment. Use the template that's coming up on your screen, which is also in your workbook, to complete your health report. Your health report should follow these guidelines. Heading. Your heading will be Health Report, Term 1. The date. Section 1, which is Physical Fitness. Write a short paragraph that explains your fitness assessment in Lesson 3, your fitness plan that you've been following since Lesson 3, any improvement in your fitness now. This is for 10 marks. Section 2 is Nutritional Health. Put your food pyramid here and explain whether you have been eating according to your food pyramid. Explain whether you are feeling healthier because you are making healthy food choices. This is out of 10 marks as well. Section 3. Your emotional health. Write a short paragraph that explains how your healthy food choices and your fitness program have improved your self-image and self-worth. And that's out of 5 marks. To finish your report, you must sign and then date your report. And this whole section is out of 25 marks. For activity one, complete the physical fitness section of the report. Pause your DVD while you complete this activity. How fit are you now? Did your assessment show an improvement in all these three areas of fitness? strength, endurance, and flexibility. I hope that you have seen some improvement and that this encourages you to keep up with your fitness program. Now let's quickly cross over to Asanda and see what's today's second question. Thanks a lot guys. Here's our next question. Are you ready? Yes. You sure? Yes. Go ahead. Am I eating healthily and can I maintain a healthy diet? Well, can you maintain a healthy diet? So the question is, am I eating healthily and can I maintain a healthy diet? This question asks you to reflect on the success of your eating plan that you designed into the food pyramid in Lesson 3. Remember the health quiz you did in Lesson 2. The healthy food choice questions ask you the following questions. Now answer them again to yourself quietly. Number one, I eat fresh fruit and vegetables. A, never. B, a few times a week. And C, every day, three to five servings per day. Number two, I drink carbonated drinks only. For example, Coke. Is it B, water sometimes, fruit juice sometimes milk sometimes, and carbonated drink sometimes, for example, Coke. C. Water only. Have your healthy food choices improved? I hope so. You will need to use your journal to reflect on whether you have been able to maintain a healthy and nutritious diet. Complete section 2 of your report on how you have done with making healthy food choices over the last few weeks. You will need to show your planned food pyramid and then comment on whether you have managed to stick to your plan. If you haven't managed to stick to your plan, you will need to think about why this is and then find ways to change your plan to suit you. Pause your DVD at this point while you complete your task. I hope that you have managed to make a healthy change to your diet over the past few weeks, but now the important thing to do is to maintain your healthy diet. There is nothing wrong with having a chocolate every now and then or having fast food once a month, but the majority of your meals must be healthy and must meet the requirements of your food pyramid. Now let's cross over to Asanda for today's third and final question. Guys, 
Time for one more question. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Are you happy? Yes. Good stuff. Go ahead and ask your question. Are my healthy choices good for my self-worth and self-image? Well, are they? So the last question for this lesson is, are my healthy choices good for my self-worth and self-image? This question is really asking you to reflect on how your physical health has an impact on your emotional well-being. If you are physically fit and eating healthily, you will look and feel good. And if you look and feel good, you will have a good self-image. Also, if you are making healthy choices for your body, you will also probably make healthy choices in other areas of your life. For example, choosing to have healthy relationships. Use your journal to complete section 3 of your health report. Your journal should have been used to keep track of your health in all areas, so you can check and see whether your feelings of self-worth have improved while following your health plan. In the next lesson, you will need to set up a new program to look after your physical health, but don't forget you need to make positive choices in all areas of health in order to keep healthy. I hope this lesson really helped you to reflect on the changes in your choices around health. Now that you have made some healthy choices, remember to keep making them. These will help you for the rest of your life. Now let's cross over to Asanda and see how our learners have done in today's lesson. Thanks a lot for all your help. You guys really rock. Is everybody happy? Yes. yes. Awesome stuff. It's time for us to head out of here. I hope you guys have been focusing and I'll see you in our next lesson. Bye. Bye. You know, I personally have also learned so much about how each of the different areas of health affect each other. So that's why it's important to look after the different areas of health in your life. Looking after your health is the greatest investment you will ever make. So until next time, take care of your physical well-being and emotional well-being. Bye.